Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the best ways to get fruits in Blocks Fruits. These are the best and I think all of the ways you can get fruits in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. Number five, the fifth best way to get fruits in Blocks Fruits is by finding them around the map. This a random blocks root spawn once per hour at every 60 minutes uh, under random trees like for example this one or any other tree in this server aside from these big ones like that or the great tree this is to be honest the worst way to find fruits or get fruits Unless you have Fruit Notifier, which is a game pass for, I think, about 2,000 Robux. And that's definitely not s something you want to do, since you can just trade for it or something like that, or get them any other way. Number four. The fourth best method to get fruits in Blocks Fruits is by buying them when they're in stock. If I come over to the Blocks Fruits dealer, there is one in, at least one in every single C. Bomb and Spike are always in stock, and then all the rest are random. So at the moment it's got Flame, Diamond, Light, Rubber, and that's all. The better the fruit, uh, or the more expensive it is, the lower chance it is to be in stock. There's also another stock with a completely separate, well, fruit listing on it. And that's from a Mirage Island. If you just use your boat in the third sea, it's got a very rare chance to spawn a Mirage Island for about 15 minutes or until you go away from it. And it's got a guarantee of either three or five different fruits on stock. I think it's five, so it's got a higher chance for better fruits. So that's number four. Number three. The third best way to get fruits in Blocks Fruits is by doing pirate raids and factories. Factories are in the second sea and pirate raids are in the third sea. Every hour and a half, the event happens, it's got something at the top of your screen that says either pirates are coming to attack your attack the sea castle or the factory is malfunctioning or something like that and you get like five minutes to either defeat the pirates or destroy the factory the last person to hit the factory and like destroy it gets a fruit and the person who actually kills the tough NPC the tough pirate gets a fruit as well so since they happen every hour and a half, if you're on, just keep an eye out for that, since it's a pretty good way to get fruit. Number two, the second best way in Blocks Fruits to get fruits is actually from the Blocks Fruits dealer Cousin. There's one in each C, and in the third C, it's at Mansion in Turtle Island. This big island here, right over here in the corner, the Blocks Fruits dealer cousin. Talk to him, you can buy a fruit once every two hours. It's completely random, and depending on your level, it has a certain amount of cost. Since I'm max level, it has almost 300,000. So, if I buy it, it's a random fruit, so I'm not guaranteed something good or something bad. And I get ice fruit. Now if I go to ice, let's just view, it costs more than uh, the amount I spent, so that's pretty good. You can store your fruits in the inventory here, right <laughs> across from the box fruit stealer and the cousin. And if you don't like a fruit, you can just either give it to someone else, store it, or wait another two hours to buy another one. Number one, 
the best way to get fruits in blocks fruits is by trading. Yes, that's right, trading. Lots of players want lots of different types of fruits. So, let's say if I wanted Rumble, I could trade Buddha for it because Buddha's in high demand since it's great for farming. Or if I wanted uh, Dark, I could trade Revive for it. The trading seats are in C2 and C3. In C3, it's in the mansion right here. One person sits at either side. You can trade a maximum of four fruits uh, to each person. And you got a daily trade limit of five trades. And the trade's value, in order for you to accept the trade, has to be within 40% of each other's fruits. So, I couldn't just give a bomb for a dough or something. I'd have to give something like pour or rumble for dough in order for them to accept. Otherwise, they physically cannot accept. If you enjoyed the video or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.